Hi, I'm Pete Goffwood, Master Chef Judge and Food Alchemist. I've been very fortunate to have travelled all over the globe as a chef. I've done some interesting South African promotions in far flung places like Muscat in Amman, in Bangkok, in Vietnam, in Moscow. The one thing I've learned from my time cooking in various kitchens all over the globe is that there's a universal thread between food and culture. Our flavour combinations may be different or our ingredients sound strange, but when you get down to the cooking processes, it all comes from the same place. Steaming is steaming and grilling is grilling the world over. And the attention to detail and the passion that goes into food is the common element that I've found throughout the kitchens that I've cooked in. Tomorrow's day, tomorrow's day, tomorrow's day. Salman Rushdie was an interesting person we had to cook for. We had the entire British Secret Service descend on the club and we had armed guards posted in the kitchen and every exit while Salman was uh, ushered in under a blanket to talk at this function. It was very, very unusual. The most standout experience I had was probably only a three-day stint in the kitchen, but it was working for Albert Root. He was in South Africa to do a promotional tour for a wine estate that uh, they represented in the UK, and I was asked to be his sidekick stroke handyman in the kitchen. It was probably the three most exciting days I've ever spent in the kitchen under what is possibly one of the godfathers of modern cuisine in the world. Of all of the, the tips that I've been given through professionals and non-professionals is learn to walk before you can run. It's a common experience that we see both from a master chef perspective, from a professional perspective and even amateurs in their home. Cook what you know. Cook, you cook from the heart and cook with love, it'll always be evident on the plate. If you try and attempt something you've never done before under a pressurized environment, it's going to go wrong. And I say this because we're now cooking in Lagos for the very, very first time. My first visit to this beautiful city and we're all very excited about the, the dinner we've got for you this evening. Tomorrow's day, tomorrow's day. Through MasterChef and in its personal capacity, I've been very fortunate enough to work in a number of African cities. I've been to Addis, Zanzibar, Harare, Vic Falls. So I love cooking in Africa. I love the vibrancy of African cities. My experience with Nigerian food is based on a lot of the work that I did in London. I worked with a number of Nigerian chefs and was fortunate to do cook on a couple of weddings. The thing that stood out for me the most was gizzards. We were preparing this gizzard dish and I had no idea what to do with the things. And through the preparation and learning to cook this dish and the spices, I was blown away by this. And whenever I think of these spicy gizzards, I think of Nigerian food. I'm a big fan of spicy food, of big, brash, flavorful things. And that's what I like as a standout for me for Nigerian food. What we have in store for you is a fantastic fine dining pairing experience using some of the finest local ingredients available. We've prepared a fantastic evening. We've got a beautiful meal to present and we're hoping that that message comes across. It's always a challenge cooking in different countries. There's a different cultural frame of reference for the food and you hope to break those borders, those cultural boundaries and get people to taste more experiences from all over the world. The thing that makes me passionate about food is we all eat to survive. Yet there needs to be more enjoyment. Whatever level you cook and present food at, there needs to be love and appreciation that goes into that food. And whether you're cooking a simple table for your family or you're cooking a fine dining experience for some fantastic guests, the attention to detail should be exactly the same. And that's what I'm passionate about with food, is putting love into whatever food I cook, no matter what the level or whomever the audience is.